you now. You heard him a little bit earlier. Wayne Hines, uh, Mandeli Sundowns. Have you had the conversation yet? Oh, oh, conversation of? Which one? There's three. There's a lot of games. Which yeah. one? If you had to sacrifice, what are we sacrificing? Has that conversation happened yet? Sacrifice? No. We're not sacrificing anything. So no. what's the conversation? What are you guys saying? What's the coach saying? What's the staff saying? You just need to win. All that's three? It. Yeah, we're going for everything. I think that's, that's a mentality in the camp. That's how Sundowns thinks. That's how the players are tuned in. That's how we are programmed. As we want to win every game. We want to win every friendly. And obviously, we want to win every cup. So that's a mentality at Sundowns at Club. Because you've got the Netbank Cup that you're playing this weekend. You've got the Champions League. I think Casablanca is your first game here at home. Yep. And you still have the PSL where Pirates is breathing down your neck. Yeah. And it means a lot of games in a short space of time, particularly in April. Yeah, obviously, um, we have a lot of games coming up, but it's nothing new to us. We've been in that boat before. We've been there. We've played Champions League, or from the flight, catching a flight maybe to a PSL fixture. And we've honored the fixture, and it's nothing new for us. We've been there. Um, obviously, it's going to be tough again this season. Um, we have a lot of league games that they have to catch up, including the cup as well. Mm. But we're ready. The squad is fit. Uh, everybody's ready to go. Mamadouri Sundowns, of course, are still in three competitions and in running to win all three. They're in the group stages of the Champions League, and that's where I want to start. You saw the group. You guys were drawn in. What are your thoughts? Yeah, um, I think it's a, it's a good draw. I think no matter where you were, in, the, in which group you were, um, it was always tough in the Champions League, no matter what group you had. Um, but it's always good for us now to play without Casablanca. Um, they put us out of the Champions League and mm. they the oldest of the Champions League. So w it's, it's a good test for us now again to play the winners of the Champions League and we're looking forward to that game. There's something about the Champions League bug when it bites. Mm. What is that special thing about the Champions League that makes you want to go back there, makes you want to win it all over again? I think it, the recognition we get, not just as a club, but as a country and also from, because we're representing South Africa as well. Mm. So we, we want to pride ourselves and we want to see where we are in Africa because we believe that we are one of the top teams in Africa. So we want to state our claim and say, this is Sundowns, we should be there, this is where we are every year and we want to our second star. So to play in the Champions League is always a buzz, always in the club there's a buzz going around that Champions League is coming up and it's always a hype because the guys love, they love the competition. Listen to this, this is your schedule in April. You've got now coming up, Cape Town City of course on the first, and then on the fourth you've got Chippa United in the PSL. After that you've got Barroca on the eighth, I think that is. The 14th you have Golden Arrows in the PSL again, and then you move on to Bedford's Vits. This is still all in April and then Maritzburg United. All of those games in April. Yeah, it's, uh, it's a heavy load, but um, the coach and the technical team, they've done well because during the league games and the cup competitions, you know, the coach normally rotates the team and he brings in probably like seven, eight changes he can make. We have the depth in the, in the, in the squad. You, uh, speak, you speak about the coach, and, and I'm gonna come in a little bit because I wanna speak about a coach that's no longer there. And we're seeing him at Orlando Pirates, and little people are saying, hey, the reason Orlando Pirates are doing that well is because Rulani is there. And then you take a look at Sundowns. Are you missing him there? Obviously, he was part of our family, so we've got to miss him, and he moved on. And obviously, he was a, he was a very good coach. Um, he had a football knowledge, good, good knowledge for the game. And he's doing well at Pirates. And obviously, we'll miss him. And... But it's not that um, we're struggling without him, but we do miss him. Are you going to miss Kama Billiard when he, at the end of the season? Where is he going? I'm not sure. Is he not going? Not at all, of, no. So he's staying at Sundowns? As far as I'm concerned, yeah, he's staying. So we're going to see Kama in Sundowns colours next season? I hope so. You I hope so or you know so. so? I definitely hope so. Because obviously to lose a player like Kama Billiard, um, will be big because obviously he's a top player and but whatever the future his future holds I um, wish him all the best but as far as I'm concerned he's still a Sundowns player. Before I let you go what are your thoughts on Andy Lejali as a player? 
think he's a good player. Um, he's, you can see he's very, he has that aggression in him and always a guy that wants to win. And for me, he's a good player, yeah. Do you think he'd look good in yellow? Yeah, he'll look good in yellow as well. Are you oh. looking forward to playing with him? Yep. All right, let's leave it at that. <laughs> <laughs> His way in ours. <laughs> <laughs> Mama, Daddy, Sundown. Thank you so much for coming on. <laughs>